my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the uh another reading for you guys i was gonna say the monthlies <laughs> how are you guys doing my lovelies i hope you guys are doing amazing i decided to do this reading we're gonna do all 12 zodiac signs let's look into your finances let's see uh what you can expect in the next coming weeks in regards to your finances career money um like I said, we're going to be doing all 12 zodiac signs, so let's get right into it. Okay, my lovelies, if you guys enjoy these readings, definitely comment below, like, share, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can support us and allow us to continue growing uh, so that we can be uh, more motivated into doing and continuously keep bringing to you guys more videos, more readings, more spells, all that good stuff. All right, my lovely, let's get into it. <clears throat> Like I said, we're going to be doing all 12 zodiac signs, okay? So, spirit guides, allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding financially in their career, in their finances, uh, stability-wise. To all 12 zodiac signs, starting with Aries, going to Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Please give me three cards on this deck to be able to see what their finances are going to be looking like. Spirit guides, give us a clear indication, clear pictures, what is unfolding before them. Are you guys excited about summer? What plans do you guys have for this summer? sound off in the comments let me know give your girl some um some ideas <laughs> work cannot be my only life you guys <laughs> oh my goodness we have been working so hard so often it's like we don't even get to have days off and it's it's exciting and we're blessed to be able to do that but we also need balance in our life <laughs> your girl's becoming uh, extremely antisocial. <laughs> uh, we just need to balance our schedules. I keep saying that the past two years I've been saying that. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. All right, so we're going to start with Aries. One, two, three, Taurus. Gemini, Cancer, okay my lovelies here we are as you guys can see we pulled out all the cards for each one of the zodiac signs let's get into it let's see what is coming towards you in regards to your career and in regards to your finances we're going to start off here with Aries now your first card here is abundance, potential, embracing. So Aries, I feel that there's going to be a lot of opportunities that are going to be unfolding before you. You may already be experiencing this. Um, they're definitely talking about money, growth, advancement is currently like being all around you. There's major potential here. Uh, to basically create or manifest whatever it is that you're really wanting to make happen. Now is the time to take action. Uh, it's about moving forward, setting goals and aspirations and, and taking action and executing that. No more procrastinating. Uh, they're also telling you learn to embrace these opportunities. So even if you experience in the next coming weeks like um, opportunities to make money on the side in certain uh, certain areas that perhaps you've never thought of or perhaps you don't really know much about, I would definitely encourage you to look into it because I don't want you guys to miss out on opportunities that are really going to help you, uh, not only to create the life that you want, but to fully be able to experience um because I'm, they're showing me like a roller coaster and it's like when you're going, when it's going up, it's almost like, you know, that, that feeling of the pit in your stomach, you're like, you know, something's bad is about to happen. Like when you go all the way to the top of the roller coaster, 
But then once you let go of the fear and you just surrender to the, you know, going down, uh, once you go up, going down, and then it takes you back up, that exciting, that, you know, like it, it's almost like a, a whirlwind of emotions is what they're making me feel. Um, and that is having the need to surrender, having the need to learn to embrace these opportunities if you really want to make things happen for you. Now, your next card here is... We have the Ten of Swords in your past and passing, an ending cycle. There, If you have been struggling or have been struggling in the past, uh, there is an ending cycle of this. There is a new beginning that is coming towards you. Uh, your present is the Ten of Cups, feeling emotionally fulfilled, being able to chase some type of aspiration or some type of goal. For some of you guys, around the same time that you start to see growth and advancement in your career, uh, those of you guys that are single, you will be finding some type of emotional fulfillment here. So I do see you guys, uh, especially if you are single, um, you're going from being single to changing your status into either a relationship, a connection, or some type of commitment. And your next card here is the Six of Wands, my lovelies. This is victory. This is really putting the effort. You've been through a lot. You've Nothing you have is something that has been given to you. You've earned every single step of the way. Um, learning to embrace the blessings that the universe is bringing to you and being able to really feel comfortable in the spotlight or feel comfortable about, you know, congratulating yourself for how far you've came uh, is definitely something that is very strong and being very highlighted here. So amazing reading, Aries. All right, let's get into... Taurus, let's see what is unfolding for you in regards to, wow, so you have relaxation, delight, and miracles, so off the bat, what I'm hearing is a lot of you guys are going to be experiencing full manifestations, something you've been hoping for, you've been praying for, like, very, very strongly here, um, whether it's, you know, to be able to grow in your career, whether it's that position that you've been having your eye on for quite a while, um, whether it's being able to, you know, have enough money to put on the side to take some time off to recuperate or to vacation. Uh, there is a lot of transformative energy that is unfolding. And I feel like what they're saying here is you've definitely earned this uh, with the miracles card. Again, uh, manifestation, something you've been really hoping for or praying for in the past couple of months is going to be uh, coming to its full fruition for you in the coming weeks. Uh, that's if you're not already experiencing this. Um, it's having the trust in the universe. Um, whereas in the past, perhaps there was like almost uh, some type of energy of either often doubting yourself or procrastinating into taking some type of action. Uh, could have been because your confidence or something within yourself was being challenged or feeling like you can make something happen. That's definitely going to, there's definitely going to be a breakthrough. There is, uh, like I said, a miracle, some type of the universe echoing back that which you've been praying for. So very beautiful type of energy. Now, the past we have here, the hanged man. Again, uh, there is a moment of stillness for some of you guys. This could be like either being laid off or... Uh, not working or perhaps just feeling like everything was becoming very routine like um, but with the delight card here there's momentum that is going to start building the next card here is the two of pentacles some type of decision that needed to be made and what is unfolding before you the page of wands setting out on a new journey uh, taking on a new beginning uh, for others of you it could represent taking on a higher position taking on um, some type of new endeavor that is going to help you align yourself to that of what you're trying to manifest when we're talking about finances and career. So beautiful reading, Taurus. Let's keep it moving. All right, so we are with Gemini now. Let's see what is unfolding before you. Oh.
for some reason we took out two cards oh no right here I was like what the heck happened <laughs> all righty wow beautiful okay so we have flexibility success and purity what they're telling you here Gemini is that your financial stability um, the career whatever goals and aspirations you have in regards to your career it there is a need for you to have some type of flexibility and I feel that for some of you guys it's almost like you've had in your mind how success is going to come to you or you've made up your mind um, of in where area you're going to succeed in and what they're telling you here is do not worry about the ins and outs of how success comes to you or when we're talking about time frames it's about putting in the work busting your ass day in and day out to make it happen don't worry about the details of how it's going to manifest that is not for you to worry or concern yourself about so long as you put the effort and the energy you will succeed and again i feel that the more flexible you are in regards to how you assume your success or your finances are going to uh, increase and how it's going to happen uh, instead of vibrating to that it's about rearranging your thoughts and just focusing on the success and the growth that you're wanting and like i said busting your ass in and out uh, day in and day out and you will see success you will see the manifestations of it but you have there, there's almost like this like you're stuck in a certain way of thinking and you have to release yourself from that. You also have the purity card here. So again, it's almost as if aligning yourself to succeed or allowing yourself for growth and advancement. Uh, don't worry about the minute details of how it's going to happen as long as you're doing what you're what is expected from you. Maybe trying a little bit harder going above and beyond only to uh, prove your worthiness and things will start to happen organically without any resistance. The more you restrict how money comes to you or the more you res uh, restrict how it's going to happen for you, the more you're creating tension in regards to what you're wanting to manifest. So keep that in mind. Now, the past, we have the three of swords, uh, some type of struggle, some type of difficulty for some of you guys. You could have been dealing with um, being let down or being betrayed, perhaps uh, you know, putting money in some type of endeavor that didn't give you any type of returns. This could be loaning people money and they just never paid you back, trusting too much and not being reciprocated or being let down. Um, what we have in the present is the Six of Cups. You've cut out uh, certain friendships. You've cut out uh, certain people that were keeping you in a negative vibration and now you're aligning yourself with the six of cups keeping only those that are genuine and authentic and genuinely want the best for you around you and your next card here is the six of pentacles giving and taking this is you asking to the universe and the universe reciprocating and answering back to you echoing back those opportunities that growth that advancement for some of you guys i do see elevation of a position so this could be uh, getting an incentive, this could be getting a raise, or this can also be um, getting a higher ranking position. Okay, my lovelies? All right, let's go to Cancers. Let's see what is unfolding for Cancers in regards to your finances. Okay, Cancer. So we have enlightenment, openness, and power. Very, very powerful cards, you guys. What they're saying here is for some of you guys, there is a need to really get out of your comfort zone. So this could be like, as an example, if you've been on or doing the same, uh, working in the same position or doing the same thing that you've been doing for the past five years, it's time for you to really push yourself to want to uh, either go up the ladder or start to look around where there's more expansion because there's almost like a feeling of um, being caged in, being boxed in, um, not really getting out of a comfort zone. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like you've been experiencing this feeling of uh, restlessness and the reason for it is because you're not really pushing yourself 
and by not pushing yourself you're not able to expand you're not able to challenge and to rise to the occasion so you have to be able to do that in order to be able to experience growth enlightenment is understanding or coming to the understanding that certain things need to change and one of them is getting out of your comfort zone for others of you it could just be challenging yourself rising to the occasion uh, doing more that is expected of you and then you will be able to see you know the light being shed on you um, getting you know attention from higher ups or uh, people really noticing your hard work and determination openness can also represent an opportunity for growth and advancement uh, with a higher position uh, because we do have the power card here so it could go from uh, you know just having a job that you've been doing for the past two years to being able to elevate yourself and take a higher ranking position or a position of power uh, but it comes down to the confidence in yourself for some of you guys, I'm hearing stop doubting yourself or stop comparing yourself. So it's almost like that energy of being around. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced like when you're working with, you know, certain people around you, uh, they're constantly like those that don't want to see you grow are constantly always telling you like, oh, you know, it's so hard to be able to get a higher position those that you know get into this position it's really hard to advance etc cetera, etc cetera. that may be their reality and that may be true to them but don't let them box you in don't box yourself in by others experiences it is up to you to decide if you want to grow or if you want to remain where you're at but it comes with believing in yourself that's what it comes down to believing in yourself and knowing that there's no cap there's no limit the limit is the limits that we set ourselves now in the past in passing here we have the seven of wands in the past you've needed to stand your ground perhaps taking on or maybe overdoing in the past um, allowing other people to take credit for what you're doing it's time to step it up it's time to do more that is expected of you but like with your chest pumped out uh, meaning don't shy away from saying I did that when they ask who was the one that oh you know went above and beyond or whatever it is like don't shy away from like owning that like it was me I fucking did that so that they can really start to see the confidence in you now your next card here is the three of wands this is expansion this is opportunity coming to you uh, this is the elevation and your next card here is the ten of wands so the ten of wands when we're talking about careers and finances um, what it's really saying is yes expansion is there and the opportunity to grow and advance is very present but some of you guys rather shy away right rather stay put in your comfort zone because you feel like you don't want to take on more responsibilities but the truth of the matter is the more you elevate yourself the more responsibilities come with that and either you're okay with that and you accept that and take on the challenge and get out of your comfort zone to really be able to see what you're really capable of doing what you're made of kind of you know so to speak or you stay um you stay put and you don't see growth or advancements so again the ball is in your court my lovelies Alrighty, let's keep it moving. All right, so that was Cancer. This is Leo. Let's see what is coming towards Leo. All right, Leos. So you have the Wisdom card, the Trust and Protection. So... I feel that you guys are being guided right now, especially spiritually guided. I feel that, let me show you, if you can see here, um, it's, you know, underneath the sea, but you can see here like a mermaid and it's transparent. So it's almost like the aura or energy. I feel that you guys are experiencing a lot of sensibility when it comes to your intuition. Uh, this is either picking up on dreams, prophetic dreams, for others of you, this is like really uh, experiencing almost like this burst of creativity. And what they're telling you is 
whatever it is that you're feeling that you're being pulled towards when we're talking about opportunities that present themselves, it's about trusting in yourself, Leo. Trusting in yourself and knowing the power that you possess and taking on those challenges because you do have trust and protection. So this to me signifies uh, almost feeling like you're a little bit overguarded or like you're guarding yourself too much or you're living too much in the comfort zone and you're not going to grow. You're not going to expand if you don't get a little bit out of that circle, a little bit out of that comfort zone. Um, wisdom is acknowledging and understanding that if we've been in a position, right, whether it's in, in, in your career, for others of you, whether it's just your income, what you're making, if in the past two years nothing has changed, it's time to elevate yourself. It's time to make some type of move or some type of challenge uh, to be able to grow and expand. And the reason I say that is, again, with wisdom, I feel you guys are being extremely intuitive. Listen to your intuition right now and trust the process and trust in yourself. Stop doubting yourself so much. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could experience like almost being too much in your head. Um... It's kind of like they're showing me like reading a word and I keep rereading it just to make sure that I'm pronouncing it correctly. So that to me, it's kind of like an insecurity type of issue where you may be experiencing like over questioning yourself or doubting yourself or just really, you know, being complacent is what I'm hearing. So you need to get out of that, out of that circle of comfort and expose yourself to other things, um, other uh, careers, maybe, you know, looking into, uh, like I said, if you've been in the same field or in the same position that you have for the past five years, and your company's not willing to help you grow, and you know, without a doubt that you've gone above and beyond, maybe it's time for you to start shopping around and looking at other, uh, other companies, you know, that may have the same, you know, the, sa the same position you have, that may pay more or that may give you, you know, opportunity for growth and advancement within the company. But they're definitely telling you don't sit there and wait for things to fall on your lap, Leo. <clears throat> okay. So in the past, we have here the Eight of Pentacles. Definitely my heart working, Leos. I know you guys are not lazy. Leos are extremely uh, motivated. You guys are extremely intense, extremely passionate. Um, but with the Eight of Pentacles, this could indicate almost like, uh, you know, the moment you clock in, you do what is expected of you, and then you clock out. It's it's almost like you work really hard to not be able to see some growth in regards to your career and your finances, where at this point, you know, the Eight of Pentacles is mastering your craft or mastering uh, your career and mastering what it is that you're doing. And I feel like you've done that, you know, because it is in the past position. Now, your next card here is the King of Pentacles. A lot of money coming in for you guys. Uh, King of Pentacles, uh, definitely representing in the present, the potential to solidify your position. Uh, this is a higher ranking position. This is uh, taking on a new endeavor or for some of you guys setting uh, the intention of starting your own business, creating some some type of co-creation um, where you're going to be able to experience or be able to have uh, money coming in from a different outlook. For some of you guys, it could be exactly that's what's needed. You may say in the position that you've been at or the career that you've been doing, but don't set your don't sell your yourself too short. Uh, this is about uh, the potential to make more money. Um, through different streams of income, and that's something that you need to focus and work on. Now, your next card here is the Devil card. So with the King of Pentacles and the Devil card, this is definitely definitely Saturn's energy. It's about if you're willing to put in the work, if you're willing to uh, set yourself goals and you know stick to them until you see the full manifestation, success is inevitable for you guys. The Devil card is all about the mundane. It's all about... For some of you guys, it could be starting your own business in regards to, um, I don't know, like um, something that could be connected to like alcohol, um, not in a negative way, but like something like some type of business that can render you different streams of income that may come in um, through shadow side. 
So it could be like um, like treats with alcohol. It could be selling alcohol. It can also be like, um, I don't know what's coming to mind, like uh, selling like um, adult toys, stuff like that. Um, not necessarily encouraging you guys to do that. <laughs> but with the devil card, it could represent like, you guys get what I'm saying, like that type of line where you're able to bring in money uh, or have different streams of income. What they're telling you is don't sell your sh yourself too short, Leo. There is potential to stick with the stability that you have or have had for quite a while, all the while stacking your bills, uh, doing or taking on a new endeavor. Okay. All right, my lovelies, let's keep it pushing. Sorry if you guys hear like my voice raspier than usual. It's been an extremely, extremely long day. We did, uh, not even sure, about 30 or 35 readings today. <sighs> we did spell work. And you know, after that, my restless ass was like, I have too much energy. So what do I do? What do I do? Spirits like start pulling out cards. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Let's get into your reading, Virgo. Now, you guys have inner peace, wonders, and love. All right. So when we're talking about your finances, I feel that for a lot of you guys, there's going to be unexpected news or unexpected opportunities that kind of land on your lap. For some of you guys, it could be a partnership or some type of uh, new endeavor where there may be like a partnership. This could come through a friend, a uh, family, relative, someone that is wanting to start some type of new endeavor and they're wanting you to join. What they're telling you is if you do experience that in the next coming weeks, definitely jump on that. Um, definitely jump on that because I, I see it slowly progressing and it's like a different source of income that could help you that is going to be coming in that you could just be using to put on the side, like to save money, etc. cetera. Um, and the more you commit to it, the more expansion and growth you start to see from it. Um, so again, because with wonders, I feel very strongly for some of you guys, it's almost like getting to the point of making enough that it's almost like you're being challenged because it gets too good to the point where you have to make a decision of your nine to five job or the, the endeavor that you started. And this is something that I tell my clients, especially when they're first starting their own business. It's like, don't quit the nine to five, right? Until you see consistency of flow of income where it gets to the point where you feel like you're being pulled towards two different directions. And the one obviously that is bringing in the most money but also making you feel fulfilled is the one you go for. Because if you enjoy doing what you're doing for a living, it's not really a job. It is a passion. And when you follow your pursuits and it's something that you're passionate about, the commitment's always going to be there. Therefore, the success is inevitable. So that's kind of like the scenario that they're showing me here with inner peace and wanders. Uh, major opportunities to make money on the side. But I do see for some of you guys, there's some type of partnership that's coming through <clears throat> where you may feel like it starts off gradually, starts to grow uh, to be able to solely depend on that. So I would definitely encourage you guys to take on that opportunity. Now, your next card here is the past and passing seven of cups, a bit of confusion, scattered energy. The next card here is the star card. So it's alignment. This is if you've been asking or wanting to manifest, it's like the universe is helping you uh, shine the light and guiding you towards your path. And the next card here is the justice card. So it's balance. It also represents um, being able to experience uh, give and take when we're talking about um, businesses, when we're talking about, uh, you know, rendering some type of service and being able to receive um, the value of that service that was provided. So I definitely do see a lot of you guys really, especially with the star card, it's almost like if you were confused about uh, what path you're on right now or what path you should take, 
uh, with the star card, that's definitely talking about alignment. It's talking about finding your passion. So if you haven't experienced that as of yet, you will be experiencing that in the next coming weeks. All right, my lovelies, let's go with Libra. Let's see what Libra has here. All right, my lovelies. So Libras, you guys have transformation. You have voyage and solitude. So for some of you guys, um, there may be some type of transition. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be changing, uh, changing careers. For others of you, it could be getting a higher position um, or some type of relocation that is definitely going to be very present here. For others of you, it could just represent having the need um, to kind of figure out where you're at right now when we're talking about careers, when we're talking about uh, your finances and stability. I feel that for some of you guys, you're, you have experienced like going through some type of transformation where uh, maybe your perception of finances, of money, of career um, was limited. Um, so what I mean by that, it's almost like a feeling of this is what I've been thinking all this time, like up until now, uh, you know, I get up, I go to work. I get off of work, I come home, like a routine type of thing, never really thinking or allowing yourself to know or to understand that you deserve better than the, the mundane, basically, routine. Um, and there is something in your mind that is triggering or that you're going to be experiencing like some type of transformation. It's almost like an aha moment. Um, for some of you guys, this could be setting out on some type of new endeavor and i'm not talking about business wise i feel like this has more to do with finding yourself uh finding who you really are for some of you guys you guys are on a spiritual journey um i do see some type of spiritual um alignment that is connecting you to your soul's purpose or uh your the true path you should be on and I feel that for a lot of you guys, those of you guys that are in some type of spiritual journey, you will be aligning yourself with the passion, something that you're very passionate or inspired about, being able to transform that into a business or being able to make that a business. So, um, you know, public speaking for some of you guys, artists, uh, painting, um, creating music. Uh, healing, anything like that. I do see some type of transformation that's happening and some type of alignment. However, it is a process. So again, try to be easy on yourself. Don't try to rush this. Don't try to, um, if you're trying to manifest some type of uh, career or some type of aspiration, um, don't get so much in your head about time frames. You know, it's about allowing yourself to heal and go through this transformation. Um, to be able to fully become either awakened um, or in alignment with what it is that you're wanting to do uh, in regards to your career. Now, the past and passing energy here is the Magician card. Um, amazing, am amazing cards, you guys. Wow. And they're all major arcanas. So, yeah, I definitely feel like a lot of you Libras are kind of soul searching right now. I feel that... Um, there's almost like an aha moment when, where you understand fully that there's more to life than what you've been exposed to or what you've been taught. And I feel that that's the reason why you're going through this transformation and the voyage cards representing uh, moving towards a new path, a new destiny. And the solitude card speaks to me highly, highly about spirituality, healing, understanding that we set our own limitations and releasing those chains of um, releasing yourself from those chains of what's been taught to you and knowing that there's really no cap in how far, how high you can aim uh, with the magician in the past. It, it almost started like an idea or it could have been someone uh, around you that could have either aspired you, inspired you. Um, made you think outside the box, made you realize that there's more to life than what you've experienced up until now. The next card is the judgment card. So it's making the decision to follow your passions or follow um, 
your true passions. The Empress is all about manifestation. It is all about abundance. It's about um, right at the center making the decision uh, to understand that you are the co-creator of your own life, that you are the master of your life. And it is up to you, whatever limitations or non-limitations, how far you're able to go with the Empress. This is your card, Libra. Uh, being in your power, knowing your potential, uh, knowing that abundance is all around. So I do see major transformations happening for you, Libras. Beautiful energy, by the way. All righty. So the next one is Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, we have release, stillness, and standstill. Off the bat, okay, so off the bat, what I'm hearing, <clears throat> it's slow your roll. <laughs> All of these cards is about stillness and the release. There's a need for you to let go of something. For some of you guys, it could be the idea of what you've thought you wanted your life to be or what you consider abundance, what you consider success, there is something that is not in alignment with what you've been wanting to manifest or what you've been asking for or what you've been praying for. Um, for some of you guys, it could be almost like uh, with the stillness and standstill, it, it can almost be like a feeling of at some point in the past, there was some type of goal, some type of aspiration that you're that you were wanting to achieve and something quickly changed where it could have brought to you a bit of distraction, like keeping you from the path that you were going towards. Um, there was some type of distraction, some type of um, just, you know, I'm hearing distractions. I'm hearing um complacency um complacency is something that i'm hearing very strongly um so for some of you guys it could have been like as an example a year ago you were extremely determined and extremely focused um a year ago from now or a year ago up until now something changed was it relationships? Was it partnerships? Was it friends around you? Was it, what is it exactly that your distraction is coming from? Is acknowledging that first. Second, what they're telling you is realigning yourself again to those goals and aspirations. You may have wanted to rush through that process, wanting to, as an example, um, you set out a goal to buy your first home, or you set out a goal to make a certain amount of money, um, and it's almost like a frustrating feeling and being distracted also didn't help. And what they're telling you is it's time for you to revisit those goals and aspirations and determine which of those goals that you had are what resonates more to you now. So what I'm hearing is confusion. And that's the reason why they're telling you slow your roll. Uh, there is some type of clarity that needs to happen within you. <clears throat> now, the past we have here, the Queen of Cups, the present we have the Moon and the Seven of Swords. Yeah. So with the Queen of Cups, I feel that for some of you guys, it's almost like a relationship, partnership, um, love in general could have taken center stage in your life. Um, and you felt either like you were emotionally too invested in this connection or in this relationship that it kind of sidetracked you, um, losing focus of the goals that you had. Now, in the present, the moon card is very much the reason why I felt instinctively that they're saying, slow your roll. Because you've lost a certain focus in you, Scorpio, or you've lost um, some type of determination that you had in the past, like it, you allowed other aspects of your life to distract you from your goals. And right now you may be feeling like you're lost or you may be feeling like you don't know what path to take. Uh, for others of you, there's almost like this feeling of um, 
not fully being able to trust those around you because we do have the seven of swords here um so my advice to you in regards to this is when we're talking about finances be very careful not to loan money to anyone right now because if you do loan money or give some type of loan some type of assistance please make sure or understand that you're not going to be seeing that money no more so again, I would not loan any type of money. I would not commit myself to any type of responsibility. I would definitely not sign any contracts in the next coming weeks, only because we have the moon here and the swords, the seven of swords. Uh, with the stillness, slow your roll, take your time, refocus, re-energize, try to figure out if those goals have changed. And if they have, what is it that's taking priority right now and go from there, okay? All righty. All right. So let's get with Sagittarius. Wow, beautiful card, Sagittarius. So you have the going forward blessings and forgiveness. Um, for some of you guys, you could have experienced getting a new... For some of you guys, you guys recently just got hired. For others of you, there could have been some type of move, some type of change within the career that you were doing. For others of you, it's just taking on more responsibility than you're used to. If you've doubted yourself or questioned yourself, that is a normal process, I promise you. Everyone that really tries to expand and grow, um, this is something that I often tell my clients. You, you're not... Um, we're not born remembering how to ride a bike. We're not born remembering how to walk. It doesn't mean that you won't be able to obviously, you know, really master that. It just means that maybe you just don't remember. You don't, and I'm talking about remembering from past lives. Um, but here on the 3D, on the physical aspect, just because you've never done something doesn't mean that you will not be able to succeed in it doesn't mean that you won't be able to master that. Everything in life takes practice. So again, if you feel like you were overwhelmed or like you've been overwhelmed, be patient with yourself, Sagittarius. It is a learning process. Um, now, we do have here the blessings card. So I see a lot of blessings coming your way where there was restrictions, where there was feeling of not really being able to get out of the hole that you were in. Definitely changes are coming that's if you're not already experiencing that movement. If you can see here, right in the background, let me see, I can focus. Right in the background, you can see here a stream of water. So what that is indicating to me is a bountiful of blessings coming your way. Um, some unexpected others kind of something you've been praying for is definitely going to be manifesting for you and you also have the forgiveness card and the forgiveness card speaks to me about being grateful learning to be grateful learning to count your blessings even when we feel like we don't have much to be blessed about or to be grateful for the fact that you were able to wake up another day and breathe and experience the sunshine in your face or being able to experience the stars underneath the sky um, is definitely a blessing. So what they're telling you is be learn to be more grateful. Learn to be feeling almost like igniting the vibration of gratitude. Because the more you show gratitude to the universe, the more the universe is going to be helping you, assisting you, blessing you, blessing your path and bringing to you opportunities that are going to set off on this new path, this new journey that you're on. Uh, so definitely very beautiful reading. Alrighty, so our next card here is the High Priestess. High Priestess talking about spiritually being guided. Uh, for some of you guys, you could have gotten recently some type of spiritual advice. Uh, this could be going to someone uh, to help you figure out certain things about your life or reassess uh, certain aspects of your life for others of you this could be you going to a person or a friend a family member someone that is exp uh, extremely spiritual um, trying the best they can to 
really bring peace to you and, and also give you um, that boost of confidence where maybe in the past you felt a bit restricted or you felt like you were kind of doubting yourself. Uh, the high priestess is all knowing and understanding that yes, we may be down, but it doesn't mean that we shall remain down. Why? Because everything in life is seasons. Just like we're down, we will go up. And the positive of being down is that when you're knocked off on your ass, the beauty behind that is that there's no other place to go than up. So remember that. Your next card here is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords could indicate um, being very resilient in regards to gathering information or in regards to uh, really putting in the effort to learn. Or again, we go back to that of mastering or learning some type of new endeavor, some type of new career, some type of new position. Um, this is really like counting your ducks in a row and really putting effort to mastering or, or learning some type of um, something that potentially is going to help you uh, be able to stand out from the crowd or be able to stand out uh, take being taken notice um, from your hard work and determination. And your next card here is the five of wands. So I do see a bit of envy around you. Um, with the high priestess, I would highly encourage you guys to, uh, in the I would say in the next coming days, I would definitely uh, go look at my channel, look up um, cleansing. I would definitely do a cleansing only because with the page of swords and the five of wands, I feel that there is a lot of like competition around you or this could be envy. This could be people looking at you or trying to look into what you're doing. Um, and you want to make sure to kick off, you know, these new blessings that are coming your way uh, with the least resistance you possibly can. So definitely encourage you guys to do that. <clears throat> You guys, I'm about to lose my voice. Maybe it's because it's 5.30 in the morning, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, my wild schedule. Okay, so let's get with Capricorn. Whoops, Capricorn. Beautiful cards here, Capricorn. So we have diligence, happiness, and change. I see you guys being uh, refocused. I see you guys being a bit, if in the past you felt like you were experiencing like almost like cloudiness or a feeling of like being extremely tired and uh, just, you know, not really focused is what they're telling me here. And I, and I feel that this is your physical body. So it could be uh, that there was a need to realign yourself. For some of you guys, there is a need for you guys to take better care of yourself in regards to making sure that you're fully getting rest um, or getting fully rested uh, is definitely something that is going to be very important for you in the next coming weeks. Now, with diligence, I feel that the more you're able to take care of yourself, Capricorn, the more you're able to fully rest and get, you know, get your eight hours of sleep, the more you're going to notice that you're more sharp, more focused, and more energized. Um, and I think that this has something to do with your sleeping pattern. So be mindful about that. Now, you also do have here the happiness card. So I feel that there is a blessing coming your way. If you look at the card, there is a sun here. And the sun is always representing blessings. But it also speaks about some type of illumination, some type of um, spiritual guidance that is helping you or that is assisting you in aligning yourself to your true purpose uh, aligning yourself to some type of blessing that is coming your way uh, with the happiness card is definitely a representation of um, I feel that for some of you guys this could be uh, a partnership that's coming in for you uh, connected to your career connected to your finances this could be a new love coming your way for others of you if stress has been uh, something very prominent in regards to your finances that's quickly going to be dissip uh, dissipating and you're going to start to experience more flow of income. There's definitely a change coming your way. Um, I feel that, like I said, for those of you guys that are single, I feel that there is some type of connection or some type of partnership that's coming through um, that is going to bring to you a lot of change, but also a lot of emotional fulfillment. And we all know that when Capricorns are emotionally happy, <laughs> you are at your best at making money. So definitely a good thing here. 
All right, let's see what is unfolding for you, Cappies. We have the King of Cups here, Nine of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so you may be dealing with the water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, I feel that this person may be very connected in regards to your career or in regards to your finances. This could be a masculine energy um, that is going to be around you in the next coming weeks. That is um, almost like, I feel that for some of you guys, especially the majority of Capricorns that I know, there's al always a feeling of like, you're the one that busts your ass the most when it comes to career and when it comes to, um, you know, the position or at work depending on what it is that you do. But I find this to be very true for a lot of Capricorns. It's almost like sometimes you guys get frustrated uh, because the people around you, it's like you always feel like you have to either help them or you have to cover for them or you have to kind of like, you know, they take the, the easy route and you're always the one that is busting your ass. You're the first one to be there, the last to leave, that type of energy. Um and I feel that this King of Cups is definitely coming around you or will be around in the next coming weeks. And this is a person that is extremely hardworking. This is a person that is really like uh, their work and determination matches almost your work and determination, Capricorn. And I feel that this is a very good, um, this is a very good either partnership for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that run your own business. For others of you, I just feel that this person is really going to be able to get on the same page with you in regards to your career uh, and to your finances. And I feel that for some of you guys, uh, this person is really going to pick up on certain things that, you know, have been added to you. So it's almost like they're coming in to assist you in some way um, with the three of pentacles. It could be, like I said, a person that gets either hired on or someone that is specifically hired um, to assist you in, in some type of way, uh, whether it's on a conscious or subconscious level. Um, but I definitely do see that this person is going to really help you balance um, your career, your finances, as well as your private life. So for some of you guys, it's almost like if you're, like I said, if you're the first one to get there and the last to leave because everyone else doesn't really give a shit or because the owner or because the company you work for really highly relies on you, I feel that this person is definitely going to match that energy. And I feel that this is a very good partnership or a very good, um, uh, some type of project that you may be working on. I feel that they're really willing to put in that effort and goal above and beyond. Maybe this is someone that is going to be either extremely like really admiring you or a person that is really going to be uh, motivated and highly respect you in some shape, way or form. If you're a female, this could be a connection uh, that comes in, someone that is coming towards you, especially those of you guys that run your own business. Um, or even if you work in a company, it could be a person that they hire, uh, like I said, to assist you in some type of way. But if you are on the entrepreneurship type of side, uh, I definitely feel that this person's coming to you to get some type of assistance, some type of help, and it can actually turn into something else. So... Keep an eye out for that. Alrighty, my lovelies. Let's go with Aquarius. Ooh, beautiful. All right, my lovely Aquarius. You guys have the thriving card. In the past and passing, I feel that like you guys have been uh, maybe going through some type of situation where you felt like your finances were... There is some type of unexpected um, expense for others of you. It could have just been like kind of feeling almost like you were barely being able to meet, um, being able to make, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, ends meet. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I went completely blank. Um, and I feel that in the past couple of weeks, you may have experienced some type of change. Uh, it's almost like uh, some type of constant uh, feeling of opportunities coming your way, uh, whether this is taking on new projects, whether this is uh, people relying more on you, but also you're starting to see the rewards from that. So for some of you guys, it could have been almost like a feeling even um, recently for some of you guys, recent uh, added boldness for others of you, it could have been like an, an unexpected check 
For others of you, it could just be, you know, your uh, yearly, you know, incentive or uh, getting a raise, that type of energy. I do see you guys having the need to pull away or having the need to recharge your batteries. Um, so for some of you guys, you may be taking some days off or for others, it could be vacation time that is around the corner that you're definitely going to be looking into recharging your batteries is what I'm hearing. And you also have the community card. So community card usually represents uh, loving energy being around you, embracing you, um, really encouraging you to continue on, uh, to keep putting effort and energy. It can also represent people around you, colleagues, uh, your boss is really admiring you or giving you more attention than usual. And that could be the reason why you experience or will be experiencing some type of raise. Now your next card here is the Two of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the King of Wands. Wow. Okay. So for some of you guys, you may be experiencing some type of uh, collaboration, some type of partnership that's going to be coming through for you. Uh, for others of you, it could be almost like a uh, organic conversation about talking about starting your own business or trying to set out on a new endeavor. And you may actually end up from that conversation, end up going towards some type of partnership with a friend, a colleague, someone that is around you that is very determined, someone that is extremely motivated um, to make things happen. And, and this is a very harmonious type of uh, partnership. So again, if you've been looking for some type of partnership or if you've been in conversation with someone about starting a business or like some type of project or something like that, I definitely do see rewards coming from this. So I would definitely tell you to jump on that Aquarius. For others of you, I'm going to be straightforward though. Uh, you may actually uh, find some type of connection or some type of relationship that starts to form that may be in connection with your career or with your finances. This could be either meeting a person uh, that recently starts at your company, at your job. For others of you, this could be uh, you setting out, uh, really taking some time off here because you're setting out on a new endeavor to meet uh, or to connect with someone that you recently met that may be at a distance. All right, and finally, my lovely Pisces, let's see what is unfolding. All right, my lovely, so you guys have simplicity, new beginnings, and gateway. Okay, let me tune into these energies here. Okay, so I feel that you Pisces have been having a bit of a struggle. For some of you guys, I feel that you could have been like really motivated and focused, like laser focused in the past, but I feel that life has become a bit overwhelming. This could be taking on more responsibilities. This could be like experiencing difficulties in the home, um, like being distracted. There is a need for you to find simplicity in the things that you do and the people that are around you. So this could be being distracted. This could be that other aspects of your life are drama filled. Uh, and there is a need to keep it simple. There is a need for you to uh, embrace a new beginning. So for some of you guys, it could be almost like a feeling of maybe having relationship difficulties. For others of you, it could just represent like a partner not really helping you save instead of saving, like instead of the money going in, it's going out, that type of energy. But there's definitely a new beginning here. And with new beginnings, obviously, there's endings. So what they're telling you here is that there's a need for you to let go of the things that are coming to a conclusion, uh, to be able to fully embrace a new beginning. There's a need for you to recharge your batteries. There's a need for you to rest for some of you guys, you've been having trouble sleeping. For others of you, you've just been overworking yourself too much to the point of exhaustion. Be careful with that, Pisces. All right, so we have here the Queen of Wands, the Emperor card, and the Knight of Pentacles. Pisces, refocus your energy. The Queen of Wands speaks about confidence, believing in yourself, trusting your power. This is about taking action. 
This is about no, no longer procrastinating. Um, there is something in your life that has been a bit of a distraction to you and there is a need for you to nip that in the bud. There is a need for you to either, you know, fully make some type of decision whereas either you align yourself to it's almost like okay so i'm hearing two things for some of you guys you're being distracted because your love life or your family home life is really affecting you right now so it's about realigning yourself my advice would be if there is a choice to be made always go with the pros and cons and whatever weighs the other one out make the decision based off of that okay because there is a need for like i see a lot of growth and a lot of potential in you guys but i feel that you often um take a different route or change your plans based off of what you're experiencing momentarily so if you have long-term goals and aspirations it's like if the circumstances in your home life or in your family life, or in your relationship life, changes, your goals change. And this is something that you need to analyze about yourself. Because if you have long-term goals, nothing or no one should ever distract you from achieving those long-term goals. And if they are, maybe it's time you wonder, are they really for you? Now, for others of you, it's like, you lose yourself in certain situations where your goals are no longer important and they take a back seat and then things don't go the way you expect them to and then you're back to square one chasing the same goals but you drop the, that focus because of circumstances so it's about what they're telling you here pisces is you have the potential to manifest um the stability, the growth and advancement that you want. But it's up to you if you decide to commit to it and stick through it until you see the full manifestation. Okay? All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment. Definitely let me know. Um, Yeah, what you guys are going to be doing this summer. Give me, give your girl some ideas. All right, my lovelies, I send you guys all my love and light. Till then, we'll see each other soon. Bye.